Good evening and welcome to our virtual freshman and new student orientation for 2020. Um, in this presentation, uh, you will hear about our recommendations, expectations, and guidelines um, to help make your, your child's um, adventure here at Elkhart Lake, Glenville High School, a successful one. For those of you that do not know me, uh, my name is Mr. Ferris. I will be entering my fifth year as high school principal prior to being at Elkhart Lake, Glenville High School. I taught 15 years at Randall Lake Middle School and High School. I coach a variety of sports. Uh, I was advisor of many clubs. Uh, the last two years, I was Dean of Students and also the director of our character education uh, program at Random Lake High School. Uh, currently, um, I live in Campbellsport with my wife and my two sons, uh, Logan, who is entering his senior year at Campbellsport High School, um, Tyler, who will be entering his sixth grade year. And as a family, we enjoy sports and outdoors activities and traveling, even though this summer it's kind of limited, but that's who we are and what we are all about. A lot of questions as far as our reopening. Um, I would just like to say a couple of our goals. Uh, number one, in our reopening for fall is a safe and is basically to open in a safe and healthy manner. So everyone's safety and health is our first priority. Um, our second goal is to deliver a, a rigorous and student-focused curriculum and really to do whatever we can to help make our students successful. There's been a lot of questions about the face coverings um, here at Elkhart Lake Glenville High School. Obviously, being a public institution, we will and we have to follow the state mandate. So face coverings will be the expectation uh, when you enter the building. We're going to try to use a common sense approach um, and give face covering breaks whenever we can. There'll probably be more classes outside. Um, teachers, basically, we're here to work with you as best we can. Um, we value that face-to-face -face instruction. So whatever we can do. Um, with the face covering mandate to, to help you, educate you. Um, that's our number one goal. But my number one goal um, as a high school principal here in this community um, is everyone's health and safety and to keep this building open as long as we possibly can. We have staff members that um, are in the high risk categories. We have students that are in the high risk categories. Um, we have family members that are in the high risk category. So whatever we can do uh, to make sure that we are going about and following guidelines in a safe manner, that's what we will do. Uh, for all our information, I encourage you to check out our Elkhart Lake uh, website. Uh, it has information on our reopening guidelines and also our virtual options. We will try to do our best job in terms of social distancing and all our activities, but obviously in high school, we cannot guarantee it. Um, there are going to be activities that we do um, where social distancing is just not going to be possible. I just want to be upfront with all our students and parents right away. As far as backpacks, something a little different. This year, we are going to allow students to have backpacks and they may carry them from class to class. However, they need to be mesh or clear. And from everything I hear, I hear that Walmart has a nice variety of clear backpacks. Um, if you bring your backpack and you just wanna keep in your locker, then it doesn't matter if it's mesh or clear. But if you are going to take your backpack from class to class, it does need to be mesh or clear. Um, the rationale for that is that we kind of, not kind of, we want to avoid large gatherings in the hall um, students buy their lockers. So if students want to bring their backpacks with them from class to class, they may. Student arrival, uh, doors will open at 730. And once again, our goal is to limit student gatherings. So after students have their temperature checks in the morning, uh, they will be directed to go to their first hour class. Um, and that's where they will be. So we will not allow um, sitting in the hallways or by their lockers. They will have to go to their first hour class. We will practice as best we can social distance. But the number one Reason for that is to really try to limit those student gatherings. Uh, student departure, um, we will encourage students to leave at 251 unless they are working or meeting with the teacher. So parents, we will need your help with that. Um, school gets done at 251. So I know in the past we've had students sit around the cafeteria or the commons or the library. Really right now, unless you are working with the teacher, you do need to leave the building. Um, our virtual learning option, and obviously there were two choices for families to do the face-to-face -face instruction or do the virtual learning option. The virtual learning option is going to look a lot different than it did in the spring. So those students and families that chose a virtual learning option, it will be that of synchronous learning. So students will follow their eight period day schedule and they will be logged on in real time as class are going on. You get to see a little bit of who teaches um, our classes here. Um, you guys can see this. I'm not going to read it to you. I would encourage you to contact your teachers um, if you have them on your schedule. If you are choosing the virtual option, uh, your teachers will be contacting you 
uh, to introduce themselves and to talk a little bit about what their expectations are for the virtual learning option. We do have a class supply list that will be on our website. If you cannot find it or you can't open it, just please contact myself, myself or Mrs. Bonnier, the high school office, and we'll make sure to get that to you as soon as we can. So if this was face-to-face, -face, um, a lot of the questions that we usually get from parents and students, whether it's at the meeting or when we are done is, how do I find my class schedule? Obviously we have your class schedule, but since you're on the virtual option, we'll direct you to Skyward. Um, if you're still having troubles, please call the high school office and we can um, help you out there. The best way to contact teachers um, is probably the easiest way and most convenient way is by email, but I would always encourage a, a phone call if you have questions. To check your child's progress, the best way to do that is Skyward. I encourage you to do that on a consistent basis. To find out what's going on in the high school, uh, there are announcements sent home on a daily basis. Um, so really not sent home, but if you want announcements emailed to you, just contact Roxy in the high school office and she can email them to you. And then just looking at our website. One important day that I wanna bring to your attention is on October 5th, we will have parent teacher conferences for all grades nine through 12 at 6 to 8 p.m. So as far as our Elkhart Lake Lula expectations, our number one goal and our number one vision here is for you to learn life lessons, um, employability skills, 21st century skills, whatever you want to call them. So we operate on the idea of being prepared, come to school every day, be on time, ready to learn. Uh, we want you to be responsible, so take responsibility for your own actions. We want you to have ingenuity, um, be a problem solver. We want you to be determined, so you want to have mental perseverance through all the challenging situations. And many of you were, I think we all were in challenging situations in the spring. Um, to show, We want you to show effort, um, have a positive attitude, and really take ownership of your learning. And then ultimately, we want you to show leadership skills, uh, to be a servant leader uh, by volunteering or really trying to make a positive impact on others. So some points of emphasis, um, attendance. Um, attendance does matter whether you're choosing face-to-face -face or virtual. Um, you really can't do anything if you're not here. So you do need to be in school every single day. Um, school starts at 749. Um, that is a number one thing. You have 10 days uh, by the state of Wisconsin. Um, after 10 days, uh, you can be marked and may be marked truant, and that could result in a fine. But we just need you to be here in school. So the other things that we'll go over are our tardy policy, cell phones, backpacks, dress code, Chromebooks and materials, um, I encourage everyone to check your email daily, um, whether you are doing the virtual option or you are doing our face-to-face. -face. And then with everything that we do, communication is vital. So first of all, dress code. Um, obviously, uh, dress appropriately, use good common sense and good taste. Uh, for face coverings, never thought I would have to put this on our dress code, but we want all face coverings to be appropriate. And really for dress, if it does, we can't have it cause a disruption to learning. If it does cause a disruption to learning, um, that's where we do have some issues. This used to always be the number one point of emphasis. And obviously during COVID-19, this has dropped a little bit. Uh, but definitely we want to create an academic environment here. Uh, cell phones, we operate on the idea of my time versus your time. All teachers will have their, uh, their own cell phone policy. But our number one and really only school related cell phone policy is that when instruction is going on in class, cell phones are out of sight. We do not see them. Anytime you leave the classroom to go to the bathroom, to go to the office, your cell phone should remain in the room. Uh, getting help. Uh, teachers and staff members are here to help. Um, they're always available up upon request, whether it's before school, lunch, or after school. Um, our number one goal is for, for you to advocate for yourself and to be independent. Um, and then for our virtual learners out there, remember that you can get support and help and assistance during our regular teacher hours, which are 7.30 to 3.30. But with all of this, communication is vital. We do not know if you need help um, unless, you, unless you ask. So please advocate for yourself um, and, and be proactive as best we can. Uh, study halls, this is also a change. This year we'll have two different study halls. We have an honor study hall, which is a 3.5 GPA and higher. And then we have structured um, and our structured or regular study hall, all freshmen, since this is a, a freshman and new student orientation, all freshmen will be in a regular study hall where there's no food or drink, uh, no music or electronic devices, um, and really can only leave that room for academic reasons to get help, maybe a band lesson or a choir lesson, 
all we ask, once again, we're here to work for you um, and work with you. Uh, so if you do have any questions or need to leave a study, I'll just get a pass beforehand and plan ahead. We really want to teach freshmen to have good study skills and learn how to be a good student. As far as graduation requirements, uh, there are 26 credits needed, three credits of math, science, and social studies, uh, a credit and a half of, fi of phi ed, a half credit of health that most of you have probably taken in eighth grade, um, a required course or two courses are personal finance, which mainly you take your senior year and computer apps, and then you would fill out those 26 credit with 10 electives. Besides all your academic requirements, you do have a community service requirement of 20 hours. And what's not on here is an ACP requirement as well. You need to fill out all your um, academic and career planning requirements would be a resume, a cover letter, um, and a professional um, interview that will take place your senior year and a completed portfolio. Right now, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Bunier, uh, who will take you through um, a lot of the expectations when it comes to school guidance. Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Bunier. I'm the high school counselor uh, and also the student council advisor. Been in the district, I believe this is my 14th year. Um, and very excited to have the students come back and get started with the school year. It's been an interesting summer and lots of planning going into bringing everyone back safely. Um, so we're ready to get started. I do want to remind you all um, that I am in this role uh, for a variety of reasons. Definitely looking to serve um, parents and students in a variety of ways to help with issues and questions. Um, but my services are to help students um, personally, socially, academically, and of course in you know planning for life after high school. So please seek me out with any questions. Uh, I typically have you know an open door policy. My, my door is open most often throughout the day unless I have a student in my office and we need to close the door. But please stop by, make an appointment. Um, parents feel free to, to call or email and we can set, you know, certainly set something up either in person or via a Google Meet. Uh, I did want to comment, first of all, thank you to all of you freshmen and parents that were able to attend the SPEC conference. I appreciate the, the flexibility. I know not everybody has had their conference, but a number have and it, it they certainly have gone well. Um, anybody that has not had an eighth grade spec conference, again, that's a student and parent educational and career conference, and you would like to meet, please contact me. Definitely something we can still do after school gets started. And um, please also know parents that we will be meeting again during the fall of junior year uh, to review transcript, make sure everything is set for graduation, and then do um, future planning, you know, have a future planning conversation, share resources, but again, any time before that, I am definitely willing to, to meet with students and parents. Um, a couple things I want to mention, I guess, first off, you know, definitely important to start the year off on a, on a good note, both academically um, and personally students. So, you know, be prepared, um, come with your materials, come with a, a positive attitude and an open mind to, you know, enjoy high school and to start working hard. We definitely encourage you to get involved. There are a variety of extracurriculars and activities, um, ways that you can, you know, show leadership and develop your character and, you know, make your high school experience enjoyable. So we definitely encourage you students, and if you're unsure about something, to attend the meetings, ask questions. Um, but we, you know, really look at it makes the school an enjoyable place when lots of students are involved and, and taking part in the activities. Um, I guess just want to really emphasize that the, the four years of high school go fast. Um, I've talked to many seniors that, you know, can't believe they're graduating high school. So encourage you to use your time wisely, you know, push yourself to get involved in, in new and positive things, you know, set goals for yourself, really maximize that, that four year time. A couple other things I want to mention is in regards to Skyward. Um, students and parents, you can, you know, check progress on Skyward. It is the same account information that you've had in middle school. 
Um, so nothing has changed in regard to, to the Skyward Access. As far as schedules go, the students do have the first two days to make changes to their schedule if possible. Um, if a student is, is seeking a, a change or interested in a change, they definitely should see me. Um, I would ask them to first report to the class that's on their schedule, but then to, to talk to that teacher and potentially to come see me. Students, I'm gonna investigate what your interest is in making that change. Um, you know, it, it's definitely something we can take a look at, but I want to know why why you're wanting to make a change. Um, and then we can check the schedule and see if it's possible. But they have the first two days. So by Thursday um, morning, I would like to have the, the schedule set and all students in the classes they need to be in. And as far as supplies, um, I do have a variety of donated supplies in my office, we have a generous community that continues to give us um, donations. So students, if you find yourself needing an extra binder, an extra notebook, some you know pencils, what, whatever it is, please, please come see me. I have a variety of supplies that I can share with you. As I mentioned earlier, I am the student council advisor. Um, so freshmen, I encourage you to contact and communicate with your representatives, which are um, Anna Wagi and Joey Johnson, and please let them know what you're thinking. I know this school year is going to be a little bit different. Um, potentially, we may not have the, you know, homecoming activities as we, as we normally do or the Christmas week activities, um, but we're still looking to make the, the school year enjoyable and, you know, potentially we try some different things. Um, and student council plans a lot of those activities. So please communicate to your freshman representatives or your you know, class representatives, um, you know, any ideas you may have or ways that we can make this school year fun. Again, lastly, I would just encourage communication if there's anything going on um, at home or having to do with school that's going to impact the day, impact performance or classes, please, I just ask that you reach out and communicate that to myself. Um, and if, if I need to, I can, you know, communicate that to teachers. Um, but we, we, feel that it's important to stay in communication with our families. So I look forward to seeing you all soon. Back to Mr. Ferris. Thank you, Mrs. Bunyay. And just to kind of reiterate what Ms. Bunyay said, Mrs. Bunyay said, just um, I encourage all of us to get involved, not only in athletics. Um, and, and once again, um, I don't know what the start of the school year is going to bring. There's a lot of unknowns with everything. Uh, but get involved in clubs and activities. They're going to go on as usual. Um, so we have a number of clubs and activities. Ask your teachers, ask your staff, ask me, ask Mrs. Bonnier um, if you are interested in any of the clubs you see below. And it seems like every year we're getting a new club here and there. This doesn't even list all the clubs that we have. But I definitely encourage all of you to get involved. As Mrs. Bonnier said, um, it's going to go fast. So really try to make high school experience. Um, it, I should say this experience is going to be what you make of it. Get involved, be risk takers, You know, try to make a difference. I encourage you to um, surround yourself with positive people. And I, I think coming to school every day with a positive attitude is going to be key. Um, try to make someone else's life better. And that's what we talk about servant leadership. And my last statement on that is try to make this high school better because you were here. There's going to be a lot of unknowns. Um, you know, there might be some times that it's rocky um, with everything going on, but we're all in this together. You probably heard that slogan um, that idea numerous times from the spring to the summer, but it really is true. And we're going to work together um, to have a great school year. Um, just a little bit talk about this high school and um, what's going on right now. I, I know there's going to be questions and concerns. Please give me a call. Um, you know what? Mistakes are going to be made. Uh, we try to make decisions based on what's best for students. You may not always agree with them, uh, but our number one goal is win-win. Um, when you have you know, issues and you have problems, what we, the only way we can solve those problems is through communication. Um, and once again, with COVID-19, there's a lot of unknowns. What we do ask and, and what everyone has shown is patience, you know, flexibility. This is an ever-changing situation. But just like Mrs. Bonnier said, communication is going to be vital um, for this to be a successful year. Uh, Chromebook policy, just remember that, that the, you know, this year I encourage you all to bring your Chromebooks home every single day because we don't know what the next day is going to bring. Um, you can see on here the responsibility for taking care of the Chromebook and charger is yours. 
Um, any lost devices, you will be charged, whether it's a charger or the device itself. And we really need to take good care of our Chromebooks. And by that, I mean, your cover, need to be, your cover needs to be on every single day. Um, you know, with maybe the chance of going remote, we can't take the opportunity that we're waiting two weeks for a loaner to come in or this or that. So please take good care of your Chromebook and know where your charger is at all time. And then remember, if you're at school, um, if we're remote or if you're virtual, you still have to follow um, our internet guideline policy because you are using our um, our property in terms of our Chromebook. So with that being said, let's have a great year. Try to get involved. If you have questions, concerns, um, please give school a call at 920-876-3381. Um, if you just had general questions, you can contact myself. Um, you can contact Mrs. Bonnier if you have uh, you know questions regarding schedule. Uh, please contact Mrs. Bonnier. And if you have questions regarding athletics, uh, please contact Mr. Larson. Have a great year. Thank you guys for tuning in. And remember, the school is open. This is Tuesday, August 25th. Students can come in 7 o'clock to 3.30 on Wednesday, 7 o'clock to 3.30 on Thursday, and 7 o'clock to 1 to go to their lockers. Um, I have schedules printed off. They can get stuff in their locker before the first day of school, and I strongly encourage that. Have a great day, and let's have a great school year.